Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 32, and we're continuing our playthrough of Illusion of Gaia. We uh, finished up our last little bit, of, well, not our, not quite our last little business, but our second set of business over at Watermia, and then we went on our European road trip. Well, okay, so we, we got two crux, four crux, and, uh, <laughs> sorry, sounds like I'm saying, we got four bucks, yay, we won a gambling, um, <laughs> and headed over to the city of Euro. We are on the hunt for the three jewels that are here, and we need to finish getting three apples for the lovely child over in town. Oh, I got another apple. So we got the first one. This is the second one. And it should be the third time's the charm. Thanks, I keep. Do we need to wait? Oh, no, I don't see it in my inventory, so we should be good. Around and around we go. Will got the apple. Okay, it is in my inventory, so I have actually been giving her an apple each time. I just noticed the stately music in the background. Why are you always going to the marketplace and coming back with apples? For Kara or... Good. As a present, I'll give you this jewel. Will gets a red jewel. I feel like there should be, you know, a, a Zelda like... Da -da 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 -da. All right, let's send that off to Gem the Jeweler. And just because... There we go. Okay, so a red jewel gets sent off. That is the first of three. Now, this is the one that's not going to be fun. To the right of the apple stand is a building with a line of customers. All right. Go into the door. This is the exit. Please use the entrance. Ah! Oh, no! Doggone it. We get to stand in line. Oh, yeah. This is gameplay. All right, so the idea is that once we finally get in here, there's two potions. One should give us a boost in hit points, and the other should power up our Dark Friar a little bit more. Um, oh, wait, no. That's if we hadn't picked it up from Gem the Jeweler. Um, so he won't drink it if we've already got that power up. Okay. Okay. Um, that is good to know. I, I kind of forgot about that when we are doing yesterday's episode and we got the Dark Friar power up. So if you missed all the jewels, this is one way to get, uh, to, to, to get everything powered up. Oh, this is painful. This is absolutely painful. You know, there's a part of me that wants to just, like, stand there and not move forward. Like that guy that, yeah, <laughs> that keeps inching up behind. See if they start, you know, getting the equivalent of uh, road rage and nudge you for not moving forward. <laughs> you can buy life medicine in the shop. I don't know if it helps, but everyone wants a long life. Hmm. <sighs> this is a little too much like real life. Waiting in line. Where, where's the game's version of Twitter? 
Well, I don't know. Maybe we ought not be on Twitter right now. I don't know if you've heard, but they had a little bit of a security incident. And apparently a bunch of people, or whoever it was, managed to get a hold of one of the admin consoles and started posting tweets under various verified users' accounts to include one of the Apple Store accounts that has never tweeted anything out at all. And it was saying, you know, donate a Bitcoin to this address and we'll give you two for every one. Ooh, aren't you Neil from this village? Rolik manages this store too. I understand. Please take whatever you like. Um, okay. This is life medicine. Try some? Yes, please. That taste makes my mouth pucker. Your power is increased. Nice. That's called dark medicine. Try some? Yes, please. Oh, the dark fryer's power is strong enough. Um. Hi. Going home? Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> so that... There we go. All that weight that it, although that is an extra hit point and giving as much as I get hit and every little hit point helps. Um, building to the right of this exit has a dark space gateway on second floor. It's the alley next to this and I need to head north. There are many back... Yeah, I'm noticing there's many back alleys. This is where the world-famous Rosky and the violinist Oreskes live. They are always arguing. Geniuses can be so peculiar. Alright, um... So I need to go in here. Two old people are arguing about something. True genius is a violent thing. It sounds like a temptus. You just dash off packs of lies. Don't brag. Hey you, I feel a strange power coming from you. My intuition is so developed, I can sense things even if I can't see them. At the right time, go to Mount Cress and take a look at the teapot. Rofsky marks Mount Cress on Will's map. There is a dispute about the teapot enshrined at Mount Cress Temple. On Mount Cress, there are enshrined tears once shed by a spirit. Legend says they save people. The spirit's tears in the teapot reflect your true form. Hmm. What you got in your teapot over here anyway? Anything good? No? Okay. All right, uh, so now we go. Okay, well, we got that one. Hang on, I keep losing my spot with my notes. Okay, exit the house, go left, and then face north. There's the red jewel. Let's uh, send that off to Jim. So. The guys who mark the map, you head down the hall, look up, and there the second one is. And we're going to go up a little bit more, past the first one. Villagers live here. Outsiders can't enter. Uh, okay. Where's this where I need to go? Yeah, this is where I need to go. Okay. Uh, I need to head up the ladder. Okay, and into the shrine. This is the shrine. The president of the company and his wife come here often. And ex examine the statue. What? The wind is blowing from behind the statue. Look. Yes. <gasps> A hidden door. Um. Oh. 
the southeast barrel, huh? All right, so there's our third red jewel. Um, hmm. I speak only a little language. We came from far away. We learn the language here. We can be sold somewhere else. Those skeletons over there are our friends. It was by orders. Uh, I miss speaking my own language, but I'll have to fight. Near our homes, various diseases are increasing. Terrible diseases that turn your body to stone. Though I'm a laborer, I'm going to run away. Okay, so this is the, uh... This is the dirty secret of my uncle? I guess it would be uncle, because Neil is supposed to be my cousin, right? I'm pretty sure that's right. He's supposed to be my cousin, which would make the parents my uncle, so that means my uncle is in the slave trade. Wonderful. Yikes. All right, so normally we'd probably go find Jem the Jeweler. That would be uh, that guy over there jumping in front of the window. <laughs> Just wanted to see. <laughs> Captain Obvious. All right, what else we got in town while we're here? The ruins are a great place. They just take my breath away. I am the explorer, Freezer. I too plan on leaving my name in history as the discoverer of the Tower of Babel. I wonder where you're taking us exploring this time. I'm afraid it's up to the whims of the captain. Okay then. Oh, no, that's right. They don't like it when you stand on the wrong side of the the hall. Uh, I don't think we're ready to go down that way yet. What else do we have in here anyway? Hello, good sir. This is the Rolex corporate office. Almost everything you buy in this town comes through the company, including the people. Uh, it sounds like they're talking about work. It doesn't look like they're talking about work. I hear if I do business with this company, I can get anything I want. We can get anything. Tea, fruit, even furs. I can't say it out loud, but workers too. Yes, the company handles almost anything you can imagine. What? A child? The old guys are talking about work. Go over there. <coughs> You old guys, huh? Keep that up and I'll break your knee with my flute. Luggage is piled up in the company next door. Sometimes you hear groans from the luggage. They're moving. Odd. Yeah, odd indeed. I think we know exactly what's going on there. Um... And I think it was in here that there's a dark portal. So we can save since we've gotten three more gems and accomplished a couple of objectives. Oh. Um. Okay. The town has changed. Rolex's sudden growth has brought many merchants to the town. There is something behind the success. Yeah, you don't want to know. Come on, let me in there. Record what's happened so far? Why, yes please. Continue? Yes please. Okay. All right, so I do. I I was trying to see if I could skip one more trip, round trip to Watermia and back. 
But it looks like that's how you get one of the jewels. So that's not it. Where's out? There's out. All right, where do we want to go? We want to go to Watermia. On our desert kangaroo. And we need to find Lance. Because he's got a red jewel that he found. And if I remember right, he's still over in Luke's place shacking up. <laughs> yep. My father's getting better every day. Now we can talk. I hope you get to see your father soon. Right, I believe you've been collecting red jewels. I found a red jewel in my father's possessions. Please take it. <laughs> nice. You just found it in your father's possessions and decided to go, Oh, here you go. Rumor is we're going to collide with a big star. I don't believe rumors like that. Well, whether you believe it or not. Okay. So that gets us one of the jewels. If <laughs> Don't forget to run back to water me and check with them. All right, so now we need to go back to Euro City. Uh, let's talk to the crew real quick. I don't think they have anything extra for us, but I just want to double check and make sure. And then, uh, and then we'll head on out. Hmm. I'm scared. Okay. You have nothing new to say? Uh, you have nothing new to say. And what about you, Cousin Neil? <laughs> okay. Nothing new there either. Alright, then I guess, uh... The next stop is off to the Mountain Temple. And that's where we get to go do... What is, by some accounts at least, the most annoying dungeon in the entire game? I kind of forgot what was there. But um, before I head over there and trigger whatever comes next, this is where I'm going to move on to the credits and say thank you for joining along so far. I hope you've uh, had fun. Uh, this is my semi-regular reminder that the live stream is me recording live the next six episodes of the show. So if you're watching live, hang tight, because uh, I've still got four more to go. And uh, whether you're watching now or you want to watch later, follow on Twitch. That will you'll get notified when I go live. I stream almost every Tuesday and Thursday, 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. I do this on Thursdays. I do Minecraft on Tuesdays. And I'm trying to squeeze in an extra stream here and there when I can. No promises, but if you follow along on Twitch, you'll always know when that goes live. And if you haven't already, subscribe on YouTube. That way you'll know when new episodes, live stream archives, and various other bits get posted. Uh, if you want to get notifications, that's where that bell thingy comes in. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That's also where I take all the comments on the episodes. I post links on and on junior.com, but... Um, I, I leave the comments to uh, YouTube's moderation. It, it even catches most of the spam. And uh, last but not least, if you're enjoying the show, if you're having fun, please consider supporting the show. Live.anonjunior.com will take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And uh, there's no set amount. It, it's strictly value for value. If you're getting value out of the show, consider giving a little value back. And... Uh, have fun. So, if you're watching live, give me a second to do uh, a little bit of spacer for where I put my edit cuts and all that other good fun stuff. 
And if you're watching on YouTube, I'll see you tomorrow.